Hello and welcome back to Road Trivia, the trivia quiz game that's easy to play in your car with your friends or by yourself. I'll read the questions, then you answer the questions. You can keep score if you want. There's a tiebreaker question at the end of each episode if you need to stick around for that. Today's game comes from San Jose, California. Ruben has sent in a 21 question random knowledge trivia quiz. The last one he sent in was kind of like a brainy Tuesday, so I hope you brought your thinking cap. Let's get started with question number one. Professional football coach Ron Rivera played and coached for several NFL teams to include the Chicago Bears, Philadelphia Eagles, San Diego Chargers, Carolina Panthers, and the Washington Commanders. What university did he attend before all of that? What university did Ron Rivera go to? The answer is UC Berkeley, or the University of California at Berkeley. Question number two, Al Davis was an American football coach and former owner of the Oakland Raiders, who are now the Las Vegas Raiders. What is the name of the popular Raider player who was the last player to leave the team that played while Al Davis was either a coach, owner, or executive? Looking for that last holdover from the Al Davis era. He also happens to be the highest scoring Raider in Raider history, Sebastian Janikowski, the kicker. Question number three. The Beach Boys are an American rock band that was formed in Hawthorne, California in 1961. The group's original lineup consisted of brothers Brian, Dennis, and Carl Wilson, their cousin Mike Love, and their friend Al Jardine. What was their first number one single released in 1964. The one that really kicked it off for the Beach Boys was I Get Around. Question number four. Most professional sports have an institution or a hall of fame where players, coaches, and others are selected for their achievements and contributions to the sport and are officially inducted into their Hall of Fame. In which city is the American Football Hall of Fame? I believe baseball is in Cooperstown and football is in Canton, Canton, Ohio. Question number five, Rottweilers, also known affectionately as Rotties, are one of the most popular dogs in the United States. They are well known to be powerful, protective, and loyal, famous for their instinct for guarding. The breed is believed to be descendants of herding dogs from what ancient civilization? The answer is the Romans. Question number six, even though the bagpipes have historical roots all over the world, they have become associated with Scotland. But despite being an inherently Scottish instrument, Scotland isn't even the country with the most pipers. Which country has the most bagpipe players and the most bagpipe bands in the whole world? I did not know this, I learned something new. New Zealand is more popular for bagpipers than Scotland. Question number seven. Although almonds are not native to this state, its climate and water infrastructure has created favorable conditions for commercial cultivation of the crop. Which US state produces 80% of the world's almonds and 100% of the United States' commercial supply? That state is California. Question number eight. During the English Civil War, followers of the king were known as royalists or cavaliers, meaning gallant gentlemen. Also known as the parliamentarians, what nickname was given to those who fought against the king and his supporters?
in the English Civil War, there were cavaliers and roundheads who kept their hair short unlike the aristocrats. Question number nine, fireflies, also known as lightning bugs, are actually beetles. Most fireflies are winged and that's different from other light producing insects of the same family called glowworms. Fireflies mostly use their light to communicate and find a mate. Fireflies glow in three colors, yellow, green, and what other? It's hard to say fireflies so many times in a row. The other color is orange. Question number 10. The Highwaymen were an American country music supergroup composed of four of the country music's biggest artists who, between 1985 and 1995, pioneered the outlaw country subgenre, recording three major albums. They were Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson, and Who Was the Fourth? Johnny Cash, Waylon Jennings, Willie Nelson, and Chris Christopherson. Question number 11. In J.K. Rowling's first Harry Potter book, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry is greeted on his birthday by Rubius Hagrid. What date is Harry Potter's birthday, which is also J.K. Rowling's birthday? Month and date. You don't need the year. But if you want the year, Harry's was 1980, J.K.'s was 1965, the date was July 31st. Question number 12. Disneyland's famous Club 33 is located above the Pirates of the Caribbean attraction and next to Walt Disney's former apartment. The club is a private club open only to members that offer special dining, beverage, and entertainment options. What is its equivalent in Disney's California Adventure? Disneyland has Club 33, and Disney's California Adventure is Club 1901. Question number 13. Many world leaders use body doubles to thwart would-be assassins. However, starting in the 1980s, Queen Elizabeth II used a body double to step in for her over 50 times for rehearsals of special events, such as the opening of a hospital or the receiving of foreign dignitaries. What was the name of this... Rehearsal Queen. Her name was Ella Slack. Question 14. Les Miserables is a French historical novel by Victor Hugo, first published in 1862, that is considered one of the greatest novels of the 19th century. In the novel, what is the name of the young boy who dies at the barricade while collecting bullets from a dead guardsman. Pardon me if I pronounce this incorrectly, but I believe it's Gavroche. Question 15. Fiddler on the Roof is a musical and a book by Joseph Stein set in the Pale of Settlement of Imperial Russia in or around 1905. The story is about a milkman named Tevi and his seven daughters. In the musical and while in a tavern, Tevi pledges his oldest daughter, Zetel, to marry who? I think you guys sending in quizzes just like for me to mispronounce stuff. The answer is Lazar Wolf. I think that's how you say it. Question number 16. J.R.R. Tolkien's books, The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings, are the tales and adventures of Frodo Baggins and his fellowship traveling through Middle-earth. In the books, which Tolkien family member drew the artwork for the maps of Middle-earth's lush hillsides and foreboding dragon lairs? You could tell me his name or the relationship to J.R.R. Tolkien. His name is Christopher Tolkien. He was J.R.R.'s son. Question number 17. In the Sandra Bullock movie, The Blind Side, the tutor Miss Sue attempts to sway Michael Orr to attend Ole Miss University 
describing the university that he wants to attend to as having dead people buried under the football field. What university was she referring to? She was referring to the University of Tennessee. Question number 18. Both Nelson Mandela and Mahatma Gandhi were pillars in achieving the goals of reform through non-violent resistance for India's independence and dismantling the legacy of apartheid respectfully. What was their shared profession? Both Nelson Mandela and Mahatma Gandhi were lawyers. Question number 19. The NFL Combine is a week-long showcase of speed, strength, and agility among other tests of college football players. They occur in front of NFL coaches, managers, and scouts to be evaluated for the draft. What is the weight used for the maximum number of repetitions for the bench press test? There's a specific weight that's always used. They put that weight on there. They see how many times you can bench press it. The answer is 225 pounds. And question 20. The Beatles were an English rock band from Liverpool who recorded hundreds of songs during their career. The group's main catalog, songs released between 1962 and 70, consists of 213 songs. Of the four main members of the band, which two band members were still alive in 2023? The answer is Ringo Starr and Paul McCartney. All right, that is it for today. Thank you for watching today's episode of Road Trippia. Thank you to Ruben for sending in two difficult but great quizzes. Lots of good categories. And I know we have viewers that always give me heck whenever I make quizzes where the questions are too easy. And there's a lot of people that really like the Brainy Tuesday style of trivia quiz. So. I feel like Ruben's quizzes are right in that genre. Uh, good questions, interesting questions, but difficult questions. If you like this channel and you like this type of trivia, subscribe to it. We have over 1,300 episodes you can play and we're putting up new ones all the time. Here's question 21, the tiebreaker for today. UNESCO World Heritage Sites are cultural and or natural sites considered to be of outstanding universal value which have been inscribed into the World Heritage List by the World Heritage Committee. As of 2023, how many World Heritage Sites are on that list? We're looking for the number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. The answer is 1,199 as of 2023. Whichever player got closest to that is going to win the point. Congratulations on winning the point. And if it was a tie, they just won the whole game. So double congratulations. Thank you for watching. See you tomorrow.